Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use 3D Cam and to composite your scene with other elements that you might want to add into a scene of yours. So we're going to go ahead and make a new project and this composition can be however long. I usually just make them like 10 minutes just because I can. Um, I'll be using this scene of Black Lagoon. Um, it's just this, but we're only going to be needing the first frame really so we're gonna add it in um, I'm gonna freeze frame it and already it's too dark so I'm going to be adding some exposure um, and just setting that to about 0.4 and just making it visible because the scene is quite dark now the scene itself is a bit pixelated but we'll solve this in the end so stick later for that now to start off, I'm going to be adding a 3D cam, um, Control Shift Alt C, and I'm going to be adding in nulls, Control Shift Alt Y, and setting those to 3D and connecting the camera to the null. That's just the base off, that's the basics to start off. Now we have a camera and we can move things in 3D space. To think of 3D space, imagine you're driving a car in a city and you see buildings going past you and you see a sky in the background. Now, your Z position is how close those buildings and the sky are to you. So the buildings are quite close in Z position to you, which is the camera. So when we move towards the building, it will come past us. But when we move towards the sky, it will stay there because, or it will take longer for it to come closer to us because in the Z space, it's further away. So what I'm going to be doing is duplicating this, masking her out and making the background further away in Z space. And so it gives it some depth of field effect when we move in 3D cam. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now that I have her masked out, we're going to be putting these in 3D space by hitting the cube here. And this here is the Z position. So we're going to bump the background back in Z position so it's further away, but scale it back up so that it is still here looking like she's sitting in the same position and there's no black bars around it. Already you can see the effect that it brings when we do this, how it makes the girl come closer because she is closer in Z space compared to the background. So it gives it this depth of field effect. Now we're going to be adding the text. Um, I'm gonna be calling it knockout. And the font I use is who are Satan. And we're going to be doing this VA thing to stretch it out, putting it in the middle with a line. It doesn't really matter. Um, changing the anchor point to be in the middle. I have this animation composer script to put it here, or you can just control alt home. Now to make it fiery, we're going to be adding a solid control Y, call it fire text. And we're gonna put these under the camera. We don't need the knockout text anymore, so we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna hide it by pressing this mole and this one up here. Now it's hidden, it's still there, but we can't see it. Add an effect called Saber. It's a free plugin from Video Copilot. We're going to select the fire glow uh, preset and we're gonna to go to customize core, set this to text layer and choose our text, which is the knockout. And there we go, we have this and we need to Go to render settings, um, composite settings, and make this transparent. And now we have it transparent, and we're going to turn this down so it's not so bright and core size, just so that it's thin and not too bulky. That looks about right. One thing is you're gonna need to save this file, so I'm gonna call this tutorial four because I have recorded this four times now <laughs> and we're going to be setting this in 3d position putting this above her here this really depends on how you want it to be set i have it up here scaled it down position is the same as the girl we can change it a bit we can put it behind or above it's really up to you i would prefer above because the glow affects her hair here and now we're going to make the transition on the null we're gonna animate and keyframe this position key press f9 to easy ease we're gonna go to about 10 seconds in and we're going to just scale this in just like 
that. And we're only using the Z position so we can right click, separate dimensions and turn off the X and Y position. So now we can graph this in the value graph. We're gonna make this quite a decently sharp graph, maybe something like this. And hopefully that should look all right. That's all good. We can even make it slower. You can adjust that, it all depends on how you want it start this further back even now we have a transition like this we can add motion tile to um, the background clip so it doesn't show black bars around it set that to about 300 we don't need a lot and mirror edges put that above everything and there we go now we don't have any black bars showing. Next, we're going to be adding in the fire. So I have a fire asset here, which I'll be using and leaving in the description below. Then we're going to be putting this in 3D space. We're gonna have two in front of the girl and then we're gonna have one behind everything in the background. So we're gonna set one here, just roughly in 3D position move that about here we can see what it looks like with our camera and you just want to adjust it how you see fit so we have something like this then i'm going to be adding in a, another one i can duplicate it change the timing of it by scrolling through the timeline and having it begin here and just putting this one maybe a bit closer to her so maybe just on the ground here something like that and that should look great. After doing these two, we're gonna first want to composite these together with the clip itself. So I'm going to use the levels effect, adding it to the girl first of all, and then we're gonna copy the effect onto the background after we finish with it. So with levels, the trick is we're going to be push putting this on red, and putting this three color thing to red and then we have to match the blacks and whites of the clip itself to the blacks and whites of our assets and anything we want to composite it to so the whites are very very bright here so we need to turn the whites up to about this right so it's similar to this and the darks pretty much don't matter too much they're very similar then we do the same thing for green put our whites up and our black seem to be the same. And the same for blue. And there you go, we have a fairly composited clip. We can, it's not perfect every time, so we can go ahead and adjust it by changing the values a little bit. There you go, that looks a lot better. Now we're going to be adding this levels to the background and there we go, it's fairly composited. One thing we're missing is deep glow, which is a really nice glow that we're going to be adding to the fires. There we go, that already changes it to make it look a lot better. So now we have some deep glow on the fires, we can make it less bright. Now to add the fire in the background, we're gonna mask this background clip out. Now, you can't see it, but the back is actually masked and we're going to again add the same fire clip, putting it in the back now. And if we move the position back, it will, should appear behind us. There you go, you can see it. Scale that up. And now we have a nice fire in the back here. Going to scale that back down. Now we have a nice fire in the back moving, giving it that nice effect. After adjusting the levels a bit more, adding the fire in the background, blurring the masks, we might think that this is enough, but we need to show that there's actually light from the background affecting our character and wrapping around the outside. So it actually looks like she's being affected by the light in the scene. So first off, I'm gonna feather her mask so she's not so sharp. To make this light effect, we're going to be using a solid and we're gonna put that above the girl here. So control Y for a solid again, name that light. And we're going to be adding in a fill. 
So that is just pretty much a color changer. Setting that to this orangey color, we can change that. Turn it off, and then we're gonna make this mask effect. So turning off the fires might help as well. We're going to be making some sort of worm around her and anything that needs light. So inside her armpits and maybe around her legs area or something. We're going to be keeping half of the mask on her and half of the mask outside. So it's like a glow. So you're going to wrap it around half outside. Now we're going to make it like a worm and have half of the mask on her. So it looks like the light is wrapping around her whilst also leaving a glow. So it gives it a nice compositing effect. Now when you're done, you can turn it back on and we're going to press double M and we're going to make the feather up a little bit just like that. So now we have a sort of glow. As you can see, it will look a lot better with the fire. So now the fire from the background should look like it's affecting her. There you go. And we're going to even expand or reduce, just adjust it accordingly. I'm going to be moving the fire in the back and the middle more so it looks like it's actually affecting her a lot more. Finally, for some more compositing effects, we're going to be hitting Control alt y for an adjustment layer and adding hue saturation. I'm going to make this more of a reddish color. So just like that and even turn down the adjustment layer opacity so it can mix with the orange. And there we go, we have a nice reddish fiery effect. To make this look fiery, we're going to be adding another adjustment layer and inserting an effect called uni.heatwave. This is also a third party effect. Leaving this at normal value, giving it some sort of wavy effect, looking like there's heat. And we're gonna add an adjustment layer above that again. And we're gonna use an effect called Posturize Time. And what this does is it pretty much makes the frame rate what you set it to. So I'm gonna set this to 12 to kind of give it a jittery feel. As you can see, it looks framey like an anime and makes it look a lot cleaner. Under the posturized time, we're gonna be adding another adjustment layer and setting a wiggle effect by searching up wiggle using wiggle position. Just changing these two amounts only. We don't mess with the transform. Maybe set this to about 10 this to about five and see how that looks. Now we have a jittery type of feel, giving it that nice effect. Finally, for some quality settings, if we add another adjustment layer, this actually changes the seed for the wiggle position, but it doesn't matter much in this case. In your case, you could set a lot of these in the same adjustment layer, but I'm just showing you in different adjustment layers so it's easy to understand. We're going to be adding three effects, one called unsharp, unsharpen mask. Uh, we're gonna add a sharpen and we're going to add a detail preserve upscaling. And we're going to have the unsharp mask be 15, 50 and the sharpen 20 and set the detail preserve upscaling, reduce noise. The noise that we've seen before is going to be all gone. Bam, by putting up reduce noise. There we go. We have quality settings, everything is great. Now we can finally add black bars by hitting Control Y and putting in, I personally use CC Jaws. Set the height to zero and turn this up and now so that we don't see any motion tile we'll do something like this and there we go if you really want bonus tip you can have the text above the black bars so it looks 3d and makes a cool nice effect just like that and that's just something else I thought I could give you 
that's the end of the tutorial. Quick tip, you can also add curves to composite. Um, make sure you adjust them a tiny bit and it messes with the blacks and whites and contrasting and all that. You can also make the text smaller so it's more visible and half of it is not cut off behind black bars. But you know, you can fix that. This is just a general idea. I appreciate you watching this video. Please do check out my Instagram, which is my main editing account. I have my um, TikTok and this YouTube. And if you could please check out my pack that's going to be launching soon. Um, that's going to include a bunch of my project files, SFX, presets, tutorials, more like this. It's going to be a bunch of stuff and it's hopefully going to be on a PayHip website and my merch relaunching soon. I appreciate it all. Everything you need is going to be in the description below and same with my Discord server. Please join there. I'm streaming every time I edit in that server. See you guys next time. Bye bye. her hair here um and now we're going to make the trend <clears throat> and now we're going to make the transition